In this video I'm going to do question 1i from the Oxford MAT Maths Admissions Test from 2017. Getting towards the end of the short answer questions now, so they should be getting uh, pretty tricky. And this one uh, looks like it's got a lot of logs in it, something I know some people uh, find challenging. So let's have a look. Uh, we've got this equation that I'm not going to try and read out. And we want to know when does it have a repeated root? Something sounds a bit quadratic here about this to be asked whether we've got a a repeated root, but let's uh, let's see how it goes. Um, I'm going to first just try and simplify down uh, some of these statements. I can see I've got a log b of b to the power of something here. Now, b to the x to the x is just uh, b to the x squared with the rules of indices. So log to the base b of that would just give me uh, x squared. Okay. Um, now, uh, what have I got here then? Log a of c to the x divided by b to the x, so we could write this as, and all of my other logs are log a, so uh, I'm not going to write log a every time, if I write log here it's always going to be uh, log to the base a, okay? So I've got log of c to the x minus log of b to the x, and then I've got this thing here, plus log of 1 over b times log of c equals 0, no rule of logs that allows us to deal with this final term here. You know, it has to be a log of um, uh, if, if the two things were multiplied together inside the logs, we could write them as an addition, but not when it's two logs multiplied together. So we're going to have to leave that as it is. So I've got uh, x squared. Now here, the rules of logs say that this is just uh, x log c, and this one's x log b. So I've got x times log c minus log b, and then I've still got this uh, term over here that I can't do anything with, but I have got a quadratic equation in x now, and so this has a repeated root when, okay, answer a here is b squared minus 4ac, that's b squared minus 4ac in the quadratic coefficients, not the b, a and c we've got here, so I doubt that's going to be the answer, probably there just to uh, put you off. But the b squared minus 4ac here from the quadratic okay, is log c minus log b squared minus 4 times 1 times log 1 over b times log c. So if I uh, uh, have a look at this now, um, I'm going to say on the left hand side, so on this left hand bracket I get log c squared plus log b squared minus 2 log b log c. Uh, and now I also notice it's going to be useful to write log 1 over b as minus log b. So I've actually got here plus 4 log b log c. If I have a repeated root, I want this to be equal to 0. The discriminant is equal to 0. So minus 2 log b log c plus 4 log b log c, so that's just plus 2 log b log c, and then you see what I've got on the left here, well, well everything I've got left here is just log b plus log c squared equals zero. So for that to happen we'll have to have uh, log b uh, plus log c equals zero, so that's log of b times c equals zero, which means that b times c equals one, and we've got an answer here, c equals uh, one over b, and so that's that. Okay, so got to be confident with logs to deal with that one effectively and be fast with your quadratics. They're meant to be hard at this stage of the paper, so um, you just have to do your best. Uh, okay, I'm going to keep going with this paper, so keep watching the playlist and um, I will go through the next one.